Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is January 4th, 2023, Wednesday, and today's video is for entertainment only. Looking at the markets on CryptoBubbles.com, looking at the top 100 tokens for the day. Green day for cryptocurrency. Lido's up 14.6, Ethereum Classic up 21.4, Near Protocols up 19.2, Avalanche up 6.9, Curve up 5.2, Filecoin up 9.8. Ethereum proof of work 10.4%, uh, Cardano up 5.9, Decentraland Mana up 5.8, BNB token up 5, Dash up 8, and Sand, the Sandbox up 5.1. Very few red bubbles. We have Mina down 3.4, OKT down 2.3, OKB down 2.5. So very few red bubbles looking at the top 100 on CryptoBubbles.com for the day. NASDAQ continues in this downtrending channel. We're pretty much right in the middle of the downtrending channel at 10,869 for the NASDAQ. Down pretty close to the low of 10,441 since we reached this peak, at least the current low post NASDAQ peak. And on the 12th of this month, we are going to get the new CP, CPI number, Consumer Price Index number. And so, and we are expecting that we'll still continue to get 50 basis point hikes from the Fed, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but it's looking like they're going to continue to hike the Fed rate until inflation gets down near 2%, stay that course. So currently we're still highly correlated with crypto and the U.S. markets, in particular the NASDAQ, so we'll, we're going to continue to track the NASDAQ as well. Looking at the Bitcoin on the daily. We did break through the 50-day simple moving average, but we have not bro bro broke through this resistance line for the downtrend. And the big question, of course, is we've talked about quite a bit. Are we going to get a fourth and final capitulation down into this 9,500 to 13,500 for Bitcoin sometime between now and April of 2023? And we believe that we will, again, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but we believe it's highly likely that we will get a fourth and final capitulation down into this region, probably pretty brief time down in that area before we come out, uh, hopefully in a V-shape recovery. Looking at Bitcoin on the four hour chart, you can see uh, clearly here we broke through the 50 day simple moving average, but we're still in this flag pattern right near the top now. We did come from the bottom uh, back in December 30 and now we're at the top up near the resistance line for this flag pattern for Bitcoin, but having a tough time staying above it. We did go above it, but just a big wick on this candle here. And now we have a d bit of a doji candle forming on this four hour candle that just opened up oh, about eight minutes ago. So looking at a nice trade that set up, we missed this, but happened on January 2nd, but Cosmos had been in this nice uptrending channel and did break through, came back and retest it right, at, right as it did retest. The stochastic had reset. Stochastic RSI had reset right down here at the 20 uh, level. I believe this is 20, yeah, 20 level. And would have been a nice trade. Get in right here and would have had about a nice 6% up to this next resistance line up around 10.5, $10.50. So nice trade for Cosmos. Ethereum continues in this uh, descending channel pattern. It is in this uptrending channel, but if it comes down through this support line, then we have a 73% success rate that'll get down to 1,060. Currently it's up near resistance. Did almost break through the resistance line but uh, it's just consolidating right now at around 1,253 for Ethereum. And news related to Ethereum on CryptoNewsFlash.com, Ethereum name service domain registrations explode in 2022. ENS saw a record setting over 2.2 million .eth domain name registrations. The success of the protocol has driven Ethereum adoption and ETH burning. ENS is a distributed, open, and extensible naming system based on the Ethereum blockchain. It is the leading blockchain equivalent of domain name system, DNS, that assigns addresses on the internet. Particularly, ENS translates cumbersome Ethereum addresses comprising random machine readable numbers and letters into memorable names. In further news on CryptoPotato.com, uh, the pressure is mounting on the world's largest institutional crypto fund manager, Grace, Grayscale, and its parent company. So this is some of uh, the Grayscale trusts and their current um, 
discount. Cur currently, a lot of them are trading at a discount. A few of them trading at a premium, Filecoin and Chainlink. But other than that, a lot of discounts for these various Grayscale trusts. Grayscale liquidation fears mount. The Bitcoin trust has $10.5 billion in assets under management, AUM, and holds more than 630,000 Bitcoin. It is down 65% over the past 12 months, but up a whopping 10,757% since its inception in 2013. Momentum for the GBTC fund could be reignited if the SEC approves its conversion to a spot exchange traded fund. So an ETF, spot ETF for Bitcoin, which I uh, don't see any reason why they shouldn't, but Gary Gensler has not approved it. Uh, but uh, uh, that is a tragedy that certainly, in my opinion, should be a approved. Again, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. However, in the current crypto and regulatory environment, that is unlikely to happen that we'll get a approval of a spot exchange traded fund converting the Grayscale Trust to a spot ETF. In further news on CryptoNewsFlash.com, Argentina's president uh, says Bitcoin prevents politicians from robbing you through inflation. Bitcoin can compete with other currencies, which is good because it is the return of private money. We continue to track uh, potential bottoms. Again, not financial advice, and this data could contain errors. You should do your own research. But if Bitcoin gets between 9500 and 135 that's what, where we think it could potentially get then these various altcoins could get to, for instance, Cardano, 14 cents to 20 cents all the way down. We've gone through this several times. We continue to update it. And then looking at this in the box is the bottom average. So the average of these two numbers for each one of these altcoins on this list. And so we're, conti we're continuing to track this, waiting to see if Bitcoin does have a final capitulation down into this range. And then we'll be looking to pick up some of these altcoins in these ranges. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please follow us. Today's video is for entertainment only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.